Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Urvi and I create regular videos on TR2PR pathway. I'm keeping you posted on what's happening under the TR2PR pathway and immigration in Canada in general. So if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you subscribe. Um, so in this video, the topic of discussion is TR2PR refusals. We have been, you know, hearing about few refusal cases and i'd like to discuss the reasons uh, behind it and what can you do to make sure you don't get a refusal and uh, if there is anything which you can do right now to stop the refusal right so let's get right into it so let's start this video by discussing the reasons behind pr to pr uh, refusal and uh, here are the reasons for which applicants have received refusals uh, in under the tr to pr pathway and the first one we saw coming was english versus french stream so some applicants um, mistakenly applied under french stream instead of english stream so ircc sent them uh, refusal letter saying that you applied under the wrong stream and you don't have the you don't meet the criteria basically so there is this ongoing debate going on whether it was really the applicant's mistake versus ircc and ircc should give them a chance and all, all of that but then the second reason which we have seen is there were candidates who applied mistakenly under a different stream. So instead of non-healthcare, they applied under healthcare stream, for example. So that is another reason for which refusals uh, have, we have seen refusals. And the third reason for which we have seen refusals is missing forms. So some applicants missed out submitting forms, few forms altogether. So that caused a refusal or they uploaded the same form twice so that caused a refusal from IRCC, right? So let's look at some of the cases. Um, I've shared this case with you earlier. So this individual applied uh, uh, 12, 18 p.m. And so this individual thought that uh, this individual applied under international graduate stream. However, it, uh, it turned out that this individual applied under French stream medical was passed and biometrics was passed and AOR was also received but then the refusal reason in the refusal letter said that did not meet the language requirement because the applicant did not provide the required French language test as a proof um, and the applicant suggests that a, uh, applicant had chosen IG stream while applying however applicant recalls that the portal default was chosen as um, French while submitting uploading page must have refreshed without applicants notice and maybe a technical glitch so applicant is blaming on to a technical glitch however ircc has uh, sent a refusal letter so we have seen similar case refusal to we have seen this before similar case this individual applied under essential non-healthcare stream and under english stream but by mistake uh, applied under french stream instead um, and did not receive AOR but directly received refusal, uh, right? And the TR to PR pathway refusal case number three is where the applicant was eligible to apply under non healthcare stream uh, and stream B. However, the applicant's consultant applied under healthcare stream in error instead of stream B okay and this individual received the refusal letter saying that applicant is not eligible for healthcare stream and does not meet the knock code requirements right so that was the refusal case which we saw and uh, here is a sample of refusal letter this is how it looks i you know i was able to get hold of this refusal letter so it basically says you didn't apply in the right stream and then for the missing forms as well, uh, this is unclear, but then um, it comes from internet and basically it says that we have submitted an application for permanent residency using forms provided by the Department of this Public Policy and which must include the time of application, all proof necessary to satisfy 
um, that the applicant meets the condition of the possible public policy, except the fee evidence requires to do, uh, demonstrate uh, physical presence in Canada at the time of application approval. So the IRCC officer is not satisfied that this individual meets the requirement um, and uh, this individual is missing the forms, um, which is mandatory, right? So if you are someone who is in such situation or first thing, if I were in your shoes and if I am a tier to be an applicant waiting for results, what I would do is I would open my tier to pr portal, log in, first validate which stream, under which stream I have applied. Okay, so one checkbox is done. And then validate, download all the documents submitted, re-verify, take your time and re-verify all the documents and see if you have made any mistakes, if anything is missing from your end as an applicant. applicant. And if you find that anything is missing or there are some mistakes, use the web form, you, you know, submit a web form and submit any missing or incorrect documents to them. And right now, if you, if you haven't received AOR, then they may or may not accept your web form, but, uh, you know, you may consider being proactive and submit those documents rather being sorry later, right? That's just my approach and note that I'm not an immigration consultant. I'm just trying to help. Feel free to seek professional advice as required, but I'm here to help. Okay. All right. So let me show you step by step how to log in into your TR to PR portal account and what to do step by step. So the first step in the process is to log in onto your TR2PR portal using which you apply your TR2PR application. So you'll enter your email and password. My friend was kind enough to share this video with me. And once you signed in and then you will get the information on your profile like the first step will be provide details second will be pay fees under the provide details if you scroll down you'll see information about the primary applicant under what pathway have you applied so here check under which pathway have you applied workers in Canada stream B or you know international graduate international graduate French you know what stream is it in Okay, if you have submitted under the right stream, then you are good. Then move on, scroll all the way down. Okay, and this is where you have kind of uploaded all your documents. And then what you will do is you will view each of this document and let it download on your desktop or whatever your download is. So start downloading all the documents and once you download all the documents then you open each of the documents up and review your documents thoroughly and check whether you have done any mistakes you know if if everything looks good if you need to fix anything then make a list of all the items where you think you made mistake update those documents and submit the missing documents or corrected documents through web form to IRCC. Now, if you have received AOR, then it might be easier for you to submit the web form. If you haven't received AOR, which means you don't have the application number, you can try to get a temporary application number from IRCC and use that application number while submitting your forms. That way you have a better chance of your documents being linked to your application and you are doing your due diligence to ensure that you make sure you don't get refusal for mistakes, right? So do this due diligence. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I really hope this video was helpful and uh, i provide regular updates and it's guaranteed on my channel so if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe and let me know if you have any questions i'll try my best to get back to you within a couple of days and uh, yeah let me know keep all the very best good luck until my next video please take care and stay safe bye bye